My name is Maria Jose Acona. I was born in Bogota, Colombia. I am a performance artist, completely devoted to, to the media. that I was carrying the wolf in the cart. Um, it was more of this interaction of people giving a different narration to what they were seeing independently from what I believe I am delivering as a performer.
these specific images are from Vides, that it was um, a cycle mm, developed around the concept of power. Power in different forms, so each form had like a performance. I was dealing with luck and destiny, liberating liberation processes, where I had 37 locks distributed around the mm, major chakras and minor chakras of my body. And then the audience would have to choose a key and unlock these kind of straps um, and in a way liberate also their own selves. The, the, the experience here at location was, was very interesting and that's also part of the topic we're talking about and it's how experiences change in different places. In Italy, the, the work worked in a very specific way. When I was in Vienna, actually there was no interaction whatsoever. People <laughs> did not interact, did not want to unlock anything. I had the, the, the lock piece and nobody opened the locks. And I can remain in this suit for a certain amount of hours only. Um, what happens? And the curator asked me many times, what if nobody uh, interacts? And the beauty also of these pieces, in a way, is that even without the interaction, the piece is allowing you to see and to feel something about the people not interacting. It says something about a social body in a wider spectrum, you know, of the difference with, like, let's say here, of people really being concerned and allowing themselves to go through the process of liberating a body, but actually trying to liberate themselves through this process. So there is an understanding of the other. Yeah, and I want to trust the body again. We are trusting every time more te technology. course there was like a big concern why are you doing that if you need to create the image but the image is created through this object that becomes like the archive the silent archive of the piece so I'm taking a big risk on kind of using the the documentation to create documentation in a different way and I'm relying completely in my capability to infuse these stories into the audience and that they actually they become the memory of the work. So yes, it's very I come back to the body and to trust the ability of the human body to contain and retain and transform and retransmit this information.